Hi, I'm Roy Murphy. You're watching the BitConnect YouTube channel. Coming up in today's video. How can BitConnect afford to pay out? Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Roy Murphy and welcome back to the BitConnect YouTube channel. Uh, today we are going to be talking about the actual platform and how on earth, in any stretch of the imagination, can BitConnect afford to keep paying out the crazy rates that they do? Um, I've seen many different uh, things on YouTube and the biggest comments is oh, it's got to be a Ponzi scheme Now the biggest Ponzi scheme as far as I'm concerned is probably most fiat currencies That includes the US dollar as probably the biggest one because they print Continuously and devalue everything so the definition of a Ponzi scheme is basically a pyramid scheme of selling ideas at the beginning that people get into and there's never enough money in the system to sustain itself. It's always destined to fail. That's the simplest way of saying what a Ponzi scheme is. So let's look into BitConnect as a platform. So there are four different ways of earning money. There's uh, staking, there's investing, there's trading, and there's mining. And you can do all of that within the system. Mining you have to do separately with some mining software. We won't touch mining today because that's a given that miners receive a percentage of work done in payment for BitConnect coins. And we will do a whole video at some point on uh, mining. So if you want to mine or you want to figure out how to do it or you want to know where to get the downloads or how to do it on your own PC or on your laptop, uh, then we'll go through all of that in another video. But today we are talking primarily about the BitConnect system. So. Parts of the system here. So we've got the affiliate bonus for a start, and these look crazy. If someone signs up under us, or someone signs up under you, whoever's below you as part of the referral scheme as a sponsor will get 7%. 7% on every single transaction. Now, that's crazy. You could not get that with the bank anywhere. How does that work? And how does the second level get 3%? How does the third level get 1%? And you know, how, how does the system pay for all of this money outbound, forgetting the daily interest? So we will be looking into that as well as to how, how there's enough money in the system to, to justify those payments. So let's get rid of that as well. So we look in the actual BitConnect dashboard area. So the, the areas where you can actually make and move money is by going to reinvest. So what you're doing here is you're lending out money. So here is the reinvest option. So this is based on the amount of interest that you accrue daily. This is where you can reinvest into the system and earn even more money at a daily rate. And the average rate since the inception of Bitcoin has been 0.9% per day compound interest, which is crazy. You cannot get that from a bank. Never in a million years. What you earn in five days on average, you would not earn with your bank in a year. So lending. What are you lending when you lend Bitcoin? So when you lend Bitcoin in BitConnect, what you're actually doing is you are loaning the trading bot it's the AI bot that does trading within the system and it doesn't trade BitConnect coins, it actually trades Bitcoins. It's the Bitcoins that you put in when you buy in initially. And then you've got the accrued bonuses. So anything over $1,010, you get an extra 0.1% per day on top of the average 0.9. So if you're doing any lending amount over $1,000, you're actually averaging every single day 1%. 1.1% and 1.15% total every day on anything over $10,000. And you think, how on earth can the system afford to do that? And there are other things within the system what you can do. You can actually do trading. So you can see the reinvest every day and you've got your little trading bot here. So that is the BitConnect trading bot. And we will be doing a whole video on the actual trading bot, the algorithms and how the bot actually works. We'll be looking into it in detail based on some of the digging around that I've done. And the other area of BitConnect where you can earn money is by moving withdrawing. And now the system earns money by you moving money in and money out. When I say money, I mean Bitcoin. Every time you bring Bitcoin in, it costs you 0.0001% of everything, of every single transaction. If you want to move it out, it's 0.0004%. So at the US dollar figure of 4,737 currently, the 0.001% for every time you want to bring money in, well, that's 47 cents per transaction. And to move it out at 0.0004%, it's actually nearly $2. So every time you move money from Bitcoin to BitConnect and BitConnect to Bitcoin or Bitcoin out into another wallet or Bitcoin in from your outside wallet into BitConnect, 
they make a considerable amount when you think how many transactions are occurring every day. Uh, also as well you can see the trading area and the buying and selling. So you can actually buy and sell and every time you buy Bitcoin for BitConnect or sell BitConnect for Bitcoin there is also a transaction fee every time you do a trade as well. So that's another revenue area for BitConnect. So let's come out of here. Now this is what most people think of when they see financial graphs. Now this is the US dollar index for the last year. And if you look at this little tiny green dot over here, this is today. So it opened at 93.15 and it ended up at 93.112. So as a percentage value on a day, that's actually 0.04%. That's the volatility that the dollar had today and it's actually declining quite quickly since January. It's actually in decline at the moment. So that's the movement in one day. That's a 24 hour decline on a dollar. So you can see volatility over a long period of time, but over a day it's very, very, very stable. The amount of things that the dollar is tied to, you've got gold, you've got, um, you've got bonds, you've got treasuries and you've got huge financial input, but those financial transactions are pretty steady because it's a known entity. And there is a financial system with the dollar that creates stability by playing around with deficits and all the different numbers. They're played with and they're tweaked and they're massaged. And there's so many people trading it and hedging against it. It really levels the volatility out because it's a very mature thing. It's been going for over 100 years. So if we get rid of the US dollar and compare that to one day, this is one day. This is the last 24 hours in Bitcoin. So it started here. And it priced at 4817 and within eight hours it had gone up to 4920 and then it came all the way back down again to 4763 and it went back up to 4793 which is exactly where it is now so it's gone it's traded up and down over over 200 dollars in in one day or nearly 200 dollars in one day so that is that's proper volatility and where the trading bot works with the BitConnect system is it uses these peaks and these troughs and these peaks and these troughs and it hedges bets based on these here. So it doesn't have to necessarily go all the way up and then all the way down in any day to make a guess and make a sale or make a purchase, make a buy order or a sell order. It's a lot more complicated than that, but it's not actually that complicated. So we'll go through that in a minute. So if you look at the real time charts here, you can see these interest things here. You've got 0 0.03 today, 1.23 to, uh, yes, uh, today, sorry, and uh, pending for tomorrow, 0 0.03. And for yesterday, 1.3. Now, the figure that I've worked out that the trading bot makes on average is about um, what you get as, as a member is about 25% of what the trading bot makes in Bitcoin trades throughout the day. Now, it's not a fixed 25%. Uh, now the rest of the the other the other varied seventy five percent within the system goes back to BitConnect uh, to its holdings, and it's 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 actually logarithmic in scale. When BitConnect actually has a good day with its bot trading on Bitcoin volatility, the bigger the swing, the more money that BitConnect makes in relation to what you make throughout a day. So it's based on the performance of the trading bot. It is logarithmic, but if you average it out over time, it works out roughly, I've worked out about uh, about 25% um, of the gains throughout the whole system. So, you know, bearing in mind that when the system loses, you don't have a negative day. You never get any less than 0%. So there's a protection factor as well, and that's got to be factored in. So if we scroll down, you can see that this is the 24 hour trading, and this is the live figures that the trading bot is given. And you can see the volatility it's, it's hedging against here. So as Bitcoin consolidates, the trading bot can't do a lot with those figures. So you get very, very low returns if it hasn't made money earlier in the day or if it's lost here and then it doesn't, it, it consolidates. It doesn't do a lot, it stagnates. Whereas here, Bitcoin today went from 465 to 475 and then 48 and then came back down to 475 so it consolidated here so that's how the trading bot kind of works in a very remedial way so to put things in perspective um, i want to give you a little bit of history about where i'm coming from what i do and how i come to some of these some of these understandings now the reason why i've got the amazon page up is um, that is my history now most people know this as amazon 
but where I worked at Amazon, I worked with Amazon AWS, which is the Amazon Web Services. Now, my last position was the operations director for Amazon, um, at Amazon AWS, and my history was working originally as an owner of one of the largest data centers in Europe. Uh, I was brought on to bring my knowledge to the second generation of Amazon EC2, which is the Elastic Cloud area. Uh, it's the compute factory and it's uh, of resaleable white sailed goods um, for developers to use the processing power of Amazon services. Um, I also got into um, database design and migration systems. I brought in some of these EC2 management tools and a few others. But for the previous year, uh, 2016, I was working mainly at bringing some of the artificial intelligence systems online and making sure that they were properly pen tested and, and suitable for purpose. So especially here, your Amazon Web Services Deep Learning, this is some of their artificial intelligence um, portfolio uh, that you have at Amazon. Now, if you go back into my history, I did say that um, I was a computer science and I've been a, an enterprise architect for the last 20 years. Um, so I've worked in the banking sector, I've worked with data analysis, uh, automotive industry, I've worked with big data, uh, artificial intelligence. You know, I've built spread betting algorithms. I've created my own cryptos. I've created my own wallets. I've created my own platforms. And I've even created my own cryptocurrency coin. So I've also created FX trading software. So the bot that I see that BitConnect has built is an incubator bot. And we'll talk a bit more about that. So again, my history as well. So. I did my bachelor's in computer science at Queen's College in Cambridge. I did my master's in automotive engineering at Hertfordshire University. I did my PhD in theoretical computer science at MIT, and that was at the Sloan School of Management. Uh, I was the head of TIES, which is T-I-E-S, which is the technology innovation, entrepreneurship and strategic management area. That's a, a history of where I actually come from on this, so I hope I've showcase that I do have a little bit of understanding about some of these systems. So if we go to bitconnect.co now, no, sorry, bitconnectcoin.co uh, this is their main site with all the information about pretty much everything. So if we go to the heading here and go to ICO we can look at the initial coin offering offered by Bitconnect at the end of last year. So if we scroll down you can see the coin distribution. So we've got the bonus 40%, 30, 20, 10, and zero from the dates from the 15th of November up until the 26th of December onwards. What that means is that for every Bitcoin invested, if you were an early adopter, you got 1400 coins, and then after a certain date, it dropped and dropped and dropped until the 26th onwards, in which case it was a thousand coins per Bitcoin. So there was no extra bonus for, for buying in. Now, most of the people that bought in, there was a late rush. So most of it happened here. In fact, they even extended it into January um, because they didn't get as much money as they wanted as an ICO offering. Now, if you look at all of these stats, you will see that the ICO only raised $800,000, just over $800,000 from the ICO. So there's lots of way we can look at the percentages of how that works and where the money's gone and what money is left within the system. So let's take a look at, should we go to the crypto site? So let's go to the crypto markets and go to the cryptocurrency market cap area. So if we look and scroll down and go to BitConnect, you can see the history as it loads. So if we scroll down now and look at the price index charts for BitConnect, um, there are different matrices, but you can see the price in the kind of rusty orange color. And you've got the price percentage of Bitcoin. So it gives you the ratio of the price between a BitConnect coin and a Bitcoin. So if you take the mean average over all this time, it's actually around about here. So around about the 0 0.025, if you look at the quantity and the velocity of transactions and you average that over time, the average Bitcoin to BitConnect coin uh, percentage is 0 0.025. Now currently it's way up, it's up 0 0.033 and, and going up. 
and then the ratio was much lower before. So that indicates that the price of the BitConnect coin is actually out accelerating uh, any volatility and price increases of Bitcoin, which is good, especially if you buy into the system in which everyone has to do in Bitcoin and then exchange those for BitConnect coins. So whatever you've brought in, as long as that ratio starts or ends up higher than where you started, you've never lost money by not holding Bitcoin in the first place. So you're always gaining even just by holding it in the system. So we can do some maths. So let's go to the Coin Explorer. So let's look at the, this is the richest list. This is the richest list of addresses. And these are addresses of BitConnect coin wallets. Now, if you scroll down here and you can see, now I've d dug into all of these. Now the top 12 of the rich list, bearing in mind this one here, there's over a million BitConnect coins, 894,000, 811,000. The top 12, I have already verified that these are all linked to BitConnect accounts, all of them. So if you look at the amount that's in the system, just those top 12, there is 5,881,323 BitConnect coins, just how by the top 12. Now, in the top 27, there's only four or five that I've, I've identified that are not linked with a BitConnect account. So if you work that out in today's price, the value of those BitConnect coins in the system owned as a percentage. So I, I knew that when BitConnect had its ICO, they didn't sell as much as they'd already pre-mined. So they'd already mined 8.4 million BitConnect coins out of a total of 28 million. So the amount that was sold in the ICO, the remainder went back to BitConnect and that was all that was ever mined. So you can work that out as a percentage. And I've already worked it out as 73%. So the holdings from day one that BitConnect held was 73% of all BitConnect coins that were ever created at that point. So this figure here in today's money would be 943,952,341 dollars being held in today's value as a 73% value of the 8 million or so BitConnect coins that are currently in existence. So we can do some more maths. Out of those 8.4 million, so if we go here, and we go to BitConnect coin. So we've gone to the Explorer area. This is the Block Explorer, and you can see how many outstanding coins there are. So it's just over 8 million. So let's do some maths. So we know that 73% of all the Bitcoins in existence are owned. So let's do some maths. Let's get the calculator up. There was 8.4 million created. They were pre-mined at the beginning, before there was any value. And out of those, there was 73%, which leaves 6.132 million BitConnect coins are owned on day one of BitConnect in the system by BitConnect. So that represents a 73% holding. If you take out then the 8.4 million, and then you minus the 6, 0.132 million that are in existence, you end up with a figure of 2,268,000 BitConnect coins. So the 2.2 the million BitConnect coins there are what was raised in the ICO. So if you divide that by roughly $800,000, you can see that the value is $2.83. So when the site launched officially and everyone got their ICU invests, this was towards the end of March and around about the end of March, it was around $2.80, which was the launch price. And within a week, it had doubled to just over $4. So whoever had bought in made money in the first week and they doubled everything. That's how that part of the system works. If we've had that amount in, how do we work out the value of all the money of who's holding what within the system? So. Let's go to the calculator again and clear everything. So we know that the system has 8 million in circulation and we know that BitConnect owns 6 million. So we're going to minus the figure that we know that BitConnect owns as a percentage. So that's 6.132 million and that equals 
1.868 million BitConnect coins are in the system that are owned by people that have bought in since. So that's how many BitConnect coins are floating around by investors within the system. So we now need to find out how much is that in Bitcoins? So we know the average ratio over the period of time. So if we multiply that by 0 0.025, we get a figure of 46,700 Bitcoins that were or have been bought into the system. So what we need to do now is find out the value of that based on today's market. So BitConnect coin. So if we go back to market cap again, and look at the price of Bitcoin. It's currently 4761. So if we say 4761 multiplied by 46700, you have a figure of $222 million. So that is the value of the Bitcoins that have actually come into the system, that are sat there. Now that is what is available to trade with, okay? So that is a holding that 95% of the people have not actually brought out because most people actually keep their money within the system. So that is just growing every single day. So that's just the Bitcoin that's within the system. And you can see how much in the value of the BitConnect coin is. So if we go back to the BitConnect coin blockchain explorer and then go back to the rich list and go to the top 100, if you look at some of these here, you can see that all of this is being held. So all of these are still tied to BitConnect. So if you go to any one of these wallets, you can see that you know in three months, there's been one transaction. So most of this is staking. So you will see that you can see that these 770,000 BitConnect coins in this particular wallet is actually being staked. So you earn money. So out of those 28 million coins that will ever exist, some of it is through mining, some of it is proof from proof of work, and some of that money is generated is proof of stake. And you get that from holding your assets in a QT wallet. So if you go back to all of these in the list, they're all being staked. So every time money within the system is being created, it's also being created a BitConnect. So they will always hold a minimum of 73% of the total assets. Now, obviously, as people start to earn money, they're not having to move any of the money out of the system from their own holdings because their BitConnect bot, they're only paying out a third or a quarter of their trading gains to you as an investment. So they're always holding more money. The value of everything they're holding goes up more and more. The more people that use it, the more they hold. They're holding all of the BitConnect coins or 73% of it and 95% of the Bitcoins within the system are held and distributed throughout the system. And there are millions, hundreds of millions of dollars worth within the system. So I hope that shows you that uh, there is enough money within the system to sustain it for many, many, many years. And the more people that go in and are, are successful and the more people that spread the word, the more stable the system will become because it is a deflationary system. I hope that makes sense. Um, it can be quite technical. I know it was quite detailed. But if there are any areas where you think that I've missed, I've covered in, you know, money in or money out or, or anything like that, let me know in the comments below. But I'm pretty sure this system is here to stay. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Give us a like, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'm Roy Murphy. You've been watching the BitConnect YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next video. This video was brought to you by Team Smurf. We bring you new videos, each and every day. To join our team, click the referral link below this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and interact with us in the comments box below. BitConnect. Creating wealth for everyone.